Who is the Seder Shahada? Look in the tradition and see. It says that when Imam Hussein, right, was coming into this world, six months, after six months he came into this world, it says that birth and carrying Hussein was very painful for Zahra. She felt a lot of pain. And you see in the tradition, you understand why. She used to cry at night time. Somebody asked, they said, why don't you cry at night time for? She says, what can I do? At night time, this child converses to me. And when he converses to me, he says, Ya Ummi, Ana Gharib. Says, my mother, I'm Gharib, I feel lonely. I feel as if I have no one. I feel no one recognize me. Says, Ana Mazloom. Says, I'm oppressed. Ana Wahid. I'm alone. Ana Atshan. I'm thirsty. Says, this child talks to me and he tells me that he's thirsty and he tells me that he's oppressed and he tells me there's no one there for him. You know what the tradition says? She goes crying to her father. She says, Father, tell me, why does my child do this? Father, heavy hearted, replies, says, Jibreel just came to me and he told me, your son will be massacred on the plains of Karbala. You know what she says? She says, then Father, I don't want my son to come into this world if this is going to happen. He says, but no, Zahra, remember, through the blood of your son, he will give life to this nation. He will revive this nation. His blood will be so powerful that revolutions will be formed on this blood. And go and see. Don't you see revolutions forming on this blood? Don't you see that when our brothers and when our communities are in pain, the minute the word of Hussein comes in, you find that we stand up again. That's that power. But it doesn't stop there. Imam comes into this world. If you want to know the status of this Imam, look at the tradition which is mentioned in, the brother, in our brothers, the Ahl Sunnah's books. And now this is a tradition found in the Sunni narration, not within our traditions. It is within our tradition, but not within this way. It says one day, Umm Salama was sitting with the Prophet. And the Prophet of God said to her, he says, look, I'm feeling tired. He says, I'm feeling tired, I'm going to go into my room, I'm going to close the door. Remember one thing, Umm Salama, make sure nobody disturbs me. Make sure nobody comes in. I'm going into my room, make sure nobody disturbs me. She says, fine. The Prophet of goes, God goes into that room. A person comes, she says, look, the Prophet is resting. And in this way, time goes by. It says a three-year-old boy begins to crawl. And from crawling, he stands up on his feet and he begins to walk towards the door of the Prophet of God. As he goes, Umm Salama comes running and she says, Son, your grandfather has said he doesn't want anyone to disturb him. Now what does that three-year-old child do? Tears come into his eyes. Heavy-hearted, he turns and he starts to walk. And as he walks, the door opens. Prophet of God comes running out. He says, Umm Salama, why did you turn my Hussein away like that for? Umm Salama replies, says, look, Allah, didn't you say nobody could come? He says, no, that's not nobody. That's the one who's going to save my religion. He goes to Hussein. Hussein has tears in his eyes. Rasulullah can't take the tears of Hussein. He grabs him. He cuddles him. He takes him into his arms. He hugs him. In the tradition, it says he puts him on his chest and he begins to cry. Jibreel comes. He says, Ya Rasulullah, don't you know what's going to happen to your son? He's going to be massacred on the plains of Karbala. Now imagine that. Ahlul Bayt know this. In another tradition it says. Can you hear this tradition? This one breaks my heart. You know why it breaks my heart? Look at it the way that it goes. So say the Shuhada comes in. Zahara standing there. Wahi has just come down. Jibreel has said, your son will be killed. Zahara looks up. She looks towards Sayyid the Shuhada. She says, if you're going to present your life, with tears in her eyes, she looks towards her father then and she says, Father, tell me, are you going to be there to cry over my son? Mother's heart, right? First thing that goes into her heart, is there going to be anyone to cry over my son? Rasulullah says, no, I'm not going to be there to cry over your son. She looks towards Abul Hassan, she says, Ya Abul Hassan, tell me, will you cry over our son? Will you, are you going to be there? He says, no, I'm not going to be there. Looks towards Imam Hassan, says, are you going to be there? He says, no. At that moment, she says, Father, am I going to be there? She says, no. 
says, who's going to cry over my son then when there's no one to cry over him? Who's going to beat their chest over my son where there's no one to beat their chest over him? Who's going to remember our son? Rasulullah replies, says, Allah will create a nation who will cry for your son until the day of judgment. Now understand your status. You are that dua. You are the dua of Rasulullah when he says Allah will create that nation. You're that nation. You're that nation they were looking towards.